Hey, what's up? Ken from Palm Beach Dino here. Behind me is our 7.3 liter Godzilla truck. You haven't seen it on the channel in a while. We've been really busy with other things, but we're getting back to it now. And guess what we're doing? Some nitrous. I do plan on putting a Whipple on this truck, but uh, you know, due to supply chain stuff, Whipples are behind in general. Everybody's behind. So in the meantime, we're gonna put uh, nitrous. Right now, it's set up for a 100 shot. It's no specific kit nothing fancy we just put it together with parts we had here at the shop it just has a button to activate it i'll show you that when we get in the truck i also wanted to show you our new hats nice custom pbd on the bottom with their american flag honestly i am not a huge fan of these hats normally but everybody wanted them so i got them but the one we happen to get is super comfortable and i may actually wear this i like it a lot so uh these we only have in very limited supply now so if you want one Better get on the website and order it. I'm gonna order a whole bunch more based on how nice they are, but it's gonna be a while. So I think I have 50, so get one of those. Anyway, I'm gonna hop in the truck. We're gonna do some baselines first uh, to make sure the truck's roughly where it was. It's 97 degrees right now in the dyno uh, room. So of course it's gonna be a little bit lower, uh, but we'll baseline it and then hit it with a hundred shot. All right, we got the truck all warmed up. Getting ready to do our first dyno pull. On the trucks, we do them uh, different gears depending on what tire and everything is on it. We want to limit uh, top speed. Uh, with the stock tire, we could do this one in sixth gear though. Alright guys, that pull wasn't too bad, but uh, I had a lot of timing pulled out, the bottle pressure was real low, so we got a little bit more pressure into it. Keep in mind, we put this kit together on uh, leftover parts, including the nitrous bottles. Um, they were filled like a year ago, I was hoping they were okay. There's obviously nitrous in them, but I'm not sure the fill's real good, so we may just uh, do this pull and then get some new bottles tomorrow and then pick up there uh, for the larger shots. Anyway, let's see what this does.
you got old nitrous. You know, I mean, the nitrous, you can see when you're, uh, no, I think the bottle is also a problem. So we're going to get uh, some fresh bottles and pick this back up tomorrow, and then we're going to put the big jets in it on top of it. No matter what power it makes, we're going to make more. Nitrous bottles were uh, old, like I told you, and they were out of nitrous. So we went ahead, went up to Havoc Speed, got the bottles refilled, and we're ready to make another hit. I'm pretty happy with that, for sure. I mean, that's almost exactly what I thought it would pick up, but 100 shot is way too small for a 7.3 liter, so let's lean on a little harder. first hit that was a hundred shot it was a little bit rich so what we're doing is we're going up to a 150 on the nitrous jet leaving the fuel jet alone and see what kind of power we make we're shooting for 600 horsepower as far as i know no super duty has put down 600 at the wheels yet 7.3 gas at least so let's see if we can do it Jeremy just pointed out that we're still on stock plugs. Of course oh. I knew that. That's, I, mean, I was like, hey. We're just gonna keep going until we have a problem, I guess. I yes. mean, uh, yeah. Five sixty on that hit. We'll show you all the dynographs in a little bit, and 
go into detail on the dyno grass, but you want to keep doing pulls, just put the 200 shot pills in it. Let's see what happens. shot oh uh, we'll, we'll roll with it first yeah i'll go wide and then once we're going like at least i'm leaving two wheel drive for now see what happens right. these people need to get off of our test strip man we get busier and busier i have to crack them up all right i'm not gonna hit from a stop yet because i don't trust it okay you ready Squirrely. Yeah, well, as soon as it hit, it did a bird out. Uh, it was in two wheel drive. I All wanted right. to try that first. So. That didn't work out. Alright, I think we're good. You ready? Yep. Woo! Holy shit, dude! That scared me. He gets up and throws me. Yeah, well, I'm like turning, I'm like letting it go while on the shift, uh -huh. you know, and then I hit it again. It's kind of fun on the button because <laughs> it's like, you know, it's like the movies, which you never actually use nitrous that way, but I am right now. scary as that was it turns out it's actually a 522 0 to 60 we did just now yeah that's pretty fucking good <laughs> i mean dude that's insane really yeah and it obviously you know the zero to ten is really really bad uh like almost 0. 0.6 seconds so i could probably hit it sooner although we were spinning in four wheel drive but i just i didn't even lift on the shift i said screw it let's just see what happens <laughs> all right 5.2 0 to 60 that was pretty awesome that was the only try we made at it it started raining Plus the, the tune wasn't exactly right. It didn't shift exactly where I wanted it to, but I'm super excited about it. And it was just fun, it was fast. Uh, let's go over the truck real quick and what's done to it for those of you guys that haven't seen it yet. Obviously we started with a stock F250 2020 Super Duty with the 10 speed transmission, 7.3 liter Godzilla, of course. And then we put a set of heads that we got from Brian Wolf at Willis Performance and a camshaft that he spec'd out for us. We put it in put down 450 at the wheels. So we baselined the uh, truck here again. Uh, it also has a full exhaust, two inch uh, primary headers, full three inch dual exhaust as well. So after the 450, really what we wanna do with this thing is get a Whipple on it. Um, the Whipple's not quite ready for it. So in the meantime, we wanted to do something quick and easy. So of course, nitrous is the best way to do that. 
So we did a couple pulls. Uh, this pull right here to give you an idea. So 451, that's on the NA tune. And then 416 is after I pulled a bunch of timing for the nitrous. So really on the nitrous tune, it makes 416 without the nitrous. Then we made a couple hits after that. 501, 500. That's when we decided the nitrous bottles weren't full. So let's go ahead and look at the actual pulls, which are gonna be this one. That was our first clean pull right there. Uh, 538, which is pretty much where I expected it to be. Uh, this is just slightly more than a hundred shot. If you're going by the exact number, I think a 52 jet would be considered a uh, hundred shot. That was a 54. So then uh, we decided to go ahead and step it up. We added another, well, not another 50. We stepped up to a 150 shot, a real 150 shot, uh, which didn't gain us another 50 because the first one wasn't really a hundred. Uh, so now we're at 564 and 686. The tune looks great at this point. We're being real easy on this. Remember, this is 100% 93 octane, no octane boost, no race gas, nothing like that. Stock fuel pump, stock everything. <laughs> so next pull was this pull here and 534 and 660. Now, if you watch our Mustang videos, I talk about reading dyno graphs. So we'll show you real quick. You know, we upped the, the spray here to a 200 shot, yet we lost power. So let me show you something here and you can kind of sometimes diagnose what's going on on the dyno itself. So this is, let me set it up right, I had it set up wrong. This is the gear ratio graph. And in general, you want this to be flat. Uh, you know, there's differences here, but there's, we'll talk about that another time, but this big, huge uh, spike here tells us that something was slipping in the drivetrain. And of course, the dyno showed less power, so that makes sense, but we don't know exactly what that is all the time. In this case, we were suspecting either tire spin or the transmission. I wasn't logging everything properly to tell exactly which one it was, but what we did was we moved the car or the truck on the dyno and I started the nitrous a little bit later so the torque didn't hit quite as hard on the next pull to try and uh, fix that issue and we were able to do a good pull and that's this one right here let me put up torque also for you six oh five and seven eleven on the torque that's the uh, blue line there. So let's go ahead and bring that up by itself. And let's see if we could find a dynograph of this truck when it was completely stock, which I'm assuming is this one right here. There you go. 343 bone stock, 605, 250 plus horsepower. And what is that? 230 torque. So, and the torque is really only limited by the fact that I hit the nitrous late at like 30, almost 4,000 RPM. It probably would have made 750 plus down here. And we may be able to do that. This transmission should be able to hold that. You have to remember, all these things are torque based. When we put a blower or a turbocharger on it, that's all uh, you know, calculated into the fuel, which also calculates the vehicle making more torque and takes care of the transmission. When you just spray nitrous there and the computer doesn't know it's there, the pressures in the transmission aren't exactly gonna be right. So I still have to play with all that, get the transmission happy. So what's up next for this thing? Well, of course you guys are gonna wanna see it at the drag strip. We're gonna take it NA again on the stock wheels and tires, try and get it 13. Then we're gonna run the 200 shot. I'm hoping it goes to 12, I would think so. And then from there, I'm not really sure. We're definitely gonna put a Whipple on when that gets here. Some point you might see a turbo. We've got a Godzilla swap coming up in our 2005 Mustang. We're gonna be doing all sorts of crazy things with that. That's gonna be a stick shift car. Uh, we're gonna be drag racing that one quite a bit. All kinds of Godzilla content coming up. So make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video, share it with your friends, and we'll see you on the next one.